We are juggling some balls today. Hey, what's up guys? It's 9.30 in the morning. We're getting started with the five ball cascade challenge. See if I can learn it in just one day. And I'm just gonna put in hour after hour after hour, watch tutorial videos and just see what I can do. So I currently know a little bit about three ball juggling, but I can't do five balls. I can't do four balls, but you can't cascade four balls. You can only do five where the pattern just goes in between it. So I wanna show you what I currently know with three ball. So I learned three ball when I was in middle school. So I can do three ball, a few different tricks with three ball. Nothing crazy though. But five ball is supposed to be way, way, way harder. So I'm gonna see what I can do with five ball. See if I can get anything down with that compared to the three ball that I can do now. I wanna get a baseline of where my five ball is at. So I'm gonna try it a few times. It's gonna be very ugly. <laughs> okay, I'm nowhere close. As you can tell, five ball's not that great right now. I'm gonna put in a lot of work. Hopefully, I can flash it a few times by the end of today. All right, so to get better, I'm gonna spend probably about this whole first hour working on some three ball drills. So I know for a five ball cascade, it's way higher than a three ball height. With three balls, you're typically throwing it about eye level. For five ball throws, I know you're getting higher, maybe that high, maybe that high, and throwing a high five ball like that and then seeing if I can maybe do one, two. <laughs> so I got some work to do. I'm gonna do things like that for probably about the next hour. All right, I'm one hour into this and honestly having fun with it, not exhausted yet. I'm feeling better. I'm getting the three ball height down a bit more. It's boring, it's the basics, but I'm realizing that I need to keep doing it before moving on. Probably gonna work on this for at least another hour because if you don't have the fundamentals of something, especially with juggling, then you're not gonna be able to move on to the next step. So I wanna build that base up, make sure that these throws are more or less perfect, so I'm gonna crank this out for another hour and then potentially move on to a different type of step. A lot of high throws and a lot of three ball flashes, and we'll see how that goes. It's only been an hour, don't expect much, but let's see if the five ball flash is any better. Gonna do a few attempts. Let's go, let's go. All right, that was probably ugly as hell, but I threw five up, was able to catch all five, so I think I flashed it after just one hour. So that's giving me some hope because I was nowhere close earlier. All right, we're now at the two hour mark. My neck is starting to get sore. My jaw is sore from how much I'm tensing, but I'm getting better, done a lot of three ball drills and feel confident in my, in my heights. Uh, so after this, I'm gonna take a little bit of a mental break. I'm gonna go for a 10 mile run just to clear my head and I'm marathon training right now, so I have to get that done today. I'm gonna come back and get after it, but let's see where the five balls is at right now, two hours in. Hopefully it's a little bit better. All right, Whew. I can still do a bit of a flash. It's still not good. I haven't tried any five ball practice yet, but I can throw them up and I can catch them every once in a while. I feel more controlled and confident in the heights that they're going. All right, we're technically at the five hour mark. It's 2.30, got myself a Philly cheesesteak. Uh, so still at the field here and uh, eating up after that run, ran the 10 miles, mine's clear. Ready to start practicing again, and hopefully we can nail down the five ball cascade. All right, so just wrapped up lunch. Uh, we're gonna get back to a lot of those same three ball tricks just to get the throws back, get the rhythm back. 
and then I'm gonna try a new pattern. So eventually I'll get to the five balls, hopefully. Uh, probably gonna stay out here the next four, five, six hours until the sun goes down. So I'll see what we can do. I am already rusty. All right, it's 3.30, it's been an hour since lunch. Practiced a lot of three ball tricks, a lot of high throws, and also a snake. So I was getting used to having three balls in one hand. Gonna try out some five ball flashes. Hopefully I'm a little bit better. I know I won't be that great yet, uh, but hopefully it feels a little bit more natural. Two flashes in a row. <sighs> Let's go. All right, so those flashes are feeling good. I can catch them with my hands. Uh, so hopefully after a few more hours, I can just get it going a little bit more consistently. All right, I'm like seven and a half hours in. I'm bright red, I'm a tomato, so I had to pick up some sunscreen and some water to keep this going. But I'm gonna keep practicing and really hoping to get a little string of five ball juggling by the end of today. All right, I'm almost at the eight hour mark. It's a little past 5 p.m. here. I'm gonna try a little bit more of five ball to see where I'm at. <clears throat> Still, probably not great. But once I get the snake down in the next hour of practice or so, I think we'll be getting pretty close. Flashed it, first try. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. All right. Ooh. All right, I did an extra throw there. I'm not even gonna try to flash this time. I'm just gonna see if I can keep it going. Not bad, not bad. Need a little bit more height, a little quicker with the hands. Better, it's getting better, it's getting better. All right, it's now six o'clock. Sun sets in about an hour and a half, maybe an hour. So I'm gonna do a little bit more, I'm gonna do a little bit of four ball work, uh, but then spend a lot of time that last hour or 30 minutes just doing all five ball. So let's get a progress track on where the five ball is at, and then it's gonna be a lot of four ball work. Yeah, it was pretty good. Got the five and then a few extra throws. There's a flash that felt pretty easy. Flash isn't the hardest thing anymore. I can get it every like third one. At the start, it took me like 10, 12 tries to even get a flash. That's a pretty good sign. There's another flash. That felt good. Let's see if we can do three. Counts, right? Four. Here's some four ball flashes and then hopefully trying to get a little bit more than just the flash. All right, the sun's starting to fade on us. We probably only have like 20 minutes left. Probably need to do a lot more four ball work, even three ball work, but I'm gonna jump to five balls for the rest of the sunlight and just see how close I can get. I'd love to be able to flash them twice. I think that means it officially counts as juggling five. I'm just gonna do my best, see how many tosses I can get. Uh, yeah, let's try it out. Woo! All right, all right, that felt pretty good. That felt pretty good. I think that was like seven throws. Eight, nine, 
all that practice the whole time. I haven't even tried this that much. I feel like, I feel like it would be okay in the last few minutes. Let's try to do seven and catch it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Catch it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, oh, I think I went for too many. Let's go check though. That might have been eight. Let's go. <laughs> yes. All right, we're at seven. Let's try to get to eight or higher. Come on. Not much daylight left. <laughs> what was that? How many was that? Please be high, please be high. Just check the instant replay. That was eight catches. Might be the best, I'll try for a bit more. There's like no sunlight left, but I'm so fired up with eight in one day. All right, let's see if we can get a buzzer beater with nine or 10. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! We're nearing our final attempts to get 10 catches today with five balls. My brain is fried. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna try my best. Try my best. This is brutal. No. Ah. Oh, that was so close. All right, the sun has set behind the house. So it's getting dark, a little too dark for this. This will be my final session. Let's see if I can hit 10. Let's see what we got. Oh. Well, that's a wrap on today. Ended up with nine catches, which honestly, for one day, I'm super fired up about. It's a little bit dark outside, but this goes to show that in just 24 hours, and really of that, it's probably about five, six hours of practicing, almost completely being able to officially qualify for a five ball cascade is incredible. I know some jugglers, it can take them years, weeks, months. So just in one day, we were able to accomplish that, which goes to show that maybe in one week, like I could have it down. Uh, and I think there's a lot of merit to spending one day, just full dedicated focus to learning something because that'll get you started. Cause I know where to go from here. I know what I'm good at. I know what I'm bad at. I know where I can improve. And now learning is just gonna be that much faster because I put in the time up front. I'm super happy with how today went. So thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. It's been a fun journey. There is some unfinished business. I will have to conquer the five ball cascade at some point coming up. So if you wanna see the progress on that, you wanna see the final picture where I look professional with it, then please make sure to drop a subscribe. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button for the channel, that'll help a lot. I hope you guys all have a phenomenal day and amazing luck on all the goals you're trying to accomplish.